Welcome to Healing Temple Mew Channel. Welcome to Mew Sound Therapy, Sonification of Mew Sigils. This program is called Coagula Light, and it's a freeware program that works fine on Windows Vista, and you can download this for free uh, if you follow the uh, link that I've posted. So here I have the uh, Royal Court Physician Sigil of Mew, and uh, basically this program converts the image that you see there into a series of frequencies to create an overall sound pattern. And uh, so if I press the render button here, which sonifies or converts the image into sound, and so that is the sound of the sigil of the Royal Court Physician of Mew. And basically it's creating a mental association between the image and the sound. Now it sounds a little bit cheesy through these um, rather poor laptop speakers, but when you feed the signal through, the, um, through a pair of nice headphones and also through an effects unit, such as the one I have here, uh, which is the Pocket Pod by Line 6, which is a rather beautiful little piece of kit and produces very professional sounds and um, pretty inexpensive as well. And I run this signal through a um, through clean tube and um, also through a program called uh, Slow Swell with plenty of, of echo and reverberation. It's beautiful sound. Um, and as well as that, you can actually flip the uh, image over and the image is now down there so you've kind of there's the image and you flipped it right over and uh, you get all all the base frequencies so the image that is converted it's sort of down there and actually then converts into base frequencies I can't actually demonstrate that on this because the speakers they really just don't reproduce the sound at all but again over a nice pair of headphones um, you sound like you're back in the womb and you get this beautiful kind of throbbing, pulsating bass kind of um, sort of plooping and plopping and <laughs> it sounds, it's lovely. Um, bass, the image, um, if I flip this image back, back again, um, you can, this is actually, when, when I actually have rendered this image into sound and you get all the upper frequencies, uh, I call this um, the agitation mode because it really does sort of stir up the body-mind complex and certainly you wouldn't want to play this more than a minute and a half, two minutes maximum to the client because even through the headphones and, and the effects unit it's quite a penetrating sound and when I flip the, the image over uh, to get all the bass frequencies um, I call that the soothing mode and you play that for about, I don't know, three to five minutes long uh, to calm the body-mind complex down and um, uh, to re-establish uh, harmony again. So you play the two modes, you play it like this and then you flip the image over to play it into soothing mode. Uh, as well as that you can uh, increase the frequency the, the number of times that you hear the image. If I just um, do that and um, So it's going to play it twice, obviously, and you can repeat that. So you can play it twice, four times, four times maximum, I would say. And also there's a rather neat little button here called the skew button. And you can actually, if you use this quite gently, you can take the, se you can take the second one down and you'll hear the results of that. So the second one is obviously at a lower frequency than the first image um, or you can actually skew it up a little bit uh, that, that way 
You want to be quite gentle with the with because you can go mad with these images. So again, you'd work intuitively. You can use the skew button to move the image up and down, and uh, you can also make it more italic. So you can try. It. So you can also um, you can change the image in a multitude of different ways, and you'd basically try all different um, uh, different. Uh, images to create different sounds. And say it sounds a bit like birds chirping away and then when you flip the image over to create the bass sounds um, you get a lovely kind of very pulsating bass sound. Um, so so basically you can uh, if you want to create a new image uh, let me see if, if I go back to um, paintbrush. Uh, over here is this dialog box. You can alter the um, the size of the paintbrush and the colour scheme. I, mean, I find basically the thicker the brush, the louder the sound. So um, I don't know if I can just uh, got it a bit bigger. This is another one. This is the Great Extractor. Oops. Little, not quite a very accurate reproduction, but anyway, we'll see how that sounds. That's the Great Extractor. Slightly different sound. They're quite subtle sounds. Um, if I flip this over. Let's see what this sounds like. It may not come out at all, actually. No, you can't actually hear that. Okay. Um, flip that back. And, uh, so you can... As always... And um, you can skew this... If I render that, you have to press the render button each time. And you can, as I say, you can press, if you press the arrow button, you play the sound continuously with the client. To create a mental association between the sound and the image, and um, activating the subtle energies of the sigil and converting them into sound. Uh, so in the next part of this video I hope to be able to um, record these sounds. I'm going to have to feed the signal from this laptop into my main computer and, uh, and then I can use the record facilities there, add a little bit of digital echo and um, hopefully come up with something uh, slightly more palatable than what you hear over this these two tiny speakers. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.